I fell in love with a Scorpio. It's a crazy story though. She was super pretty, the baddest in my portfolio. She was super sweet, I would eat her up like a Oreo. I don't know how I got her, I'm giving God all the glory though. And she was born in October or November. I really cannot remember. I hope it doesn't offend her. She told me that she loved me because I was so sweet and tender. And I would always defend her. And I was not a pretender. <laughs> but one day she was acting so mysterious. I was curious, and honestly, I was furious. Wasn't talking to me, she really had me delirious. I was overthinking, I didn't know she was serious. I thought maybe she had found somebody else but honestly she told me she was working on herself she took some time off to focus on her mental health and i had to accept it regardless of how i felt huh. but all in all what i learned in the end is i love scorpios i swear scorpios are 10 but be careful because as soon as you get in what's up y'all this is 1028 awakenings and i'm back again with another motherfucking video what's goody how y'all doing all right so let's do what's coming to us how long is it coming all right so we're gonna do it backwards okay so how much time do we have for whatever is going on in this reading to truly hit our existence? When is it going to hit our existence? <clears throat> within two months from now, okay? So within two months from now, everything that's going on in this motherfucking reading will occur, all right? So what's up, Scorpio? This is 1028 Awakenings, and I'm back again with another motherfucking video, all right? If you would like a reading with me, it's 2828. I will be going live on Saturday, which is today. And I will be doing prediction regions, readings for 1888, okay? So just for my YouTubers, y'all will be getting a chance. I'll go live on every single platform, which is YouTube and Instagram, okay? All right, and y'all will get the 1818 while I am live, okay? So this is gonna be fun, me kicking it with y'all, okay? All right, so Scorpios, let's get into it two months from now. Also, I have some readings I need to get done. All right, two months two months from now, a fair-skinned male who's lighter than dark is going to be uh, thinking about you, trying to talk to you, you know what I'm saying? So two months from now, this person, it, you're going to be heavy on this person's mind. This could be somebody that you already know right now, younger, normally wear black hair, got a little hair here, okay, maybe even blue eyes. But two months from now, this person is going to be thinking about you. All right, this is somebody who is a fair-skinned male, all right? This could be a fair-skinned female as well, all right? But for y'all males, this could just be y'all homeboy like, damn, you know, I ain't fuck with Brandon in a minute. Like, let me see what the fuck you got going on. Okay, so yeah, all right. So you got a fair-skinned man who could be fucking with you in two months. It is going to be a short-term situation, okay? Uh, or this also means in two months from now, somebody who used to fuck with that's light-skinned, um and 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 two months from now somebody that you fought with that was light skin and it was really short is going to be thinking about you because he came out this way all right and the relationship that y'all had was very short it was it was it didn't go very long this also could mean two months from now you are going to be dealing with a person and you might really like them but it's going to end as fast as it starts okay two months from now or this nigga could pop back up for some of y'all Okay, yeah. For some of you guys, this person that you used to fuck with that was light skinned is going to pop back up two months from right now. And, you know, it was short term when you did used to fuck with them, but they're going to surprise you with a gift or dinner or something that you can open. Or their presence could just be a shocker, you know, that they popping up. Okay. Um, I do have great, great, great chemistry with light skinned people. Like, light skinned people just are great to me. We got the ice queen. <laughs> it was just funny, you know what I'm saying? All right, so we got the ice queen, divorced mother, or um, discreet, okay? So this is a woman or a man who is very discreet, okay? They could be a mom, a single parent, okay? Uh, but this ice queen also had a short-term situation with this light-skinned person um, as well. And I feel like y'all surprised each other. Maybe you stopped talking to this person and they didn't expect you to just withdraw, okay? Maybe because there could have been like a difference between you guys or even an age difference. A bob could be significant here. A hood could be significant here. But this, this light-skinned person does think about you okay and how it was so short term and they didn't really even get no long uh you know situation with you like that it could have only lasted for two months okay um and this person was surprised you know what i mean they were surprised that you went you didn't stay long or you wasn't there i don't know why this person left or you left but it is what it is like maybe you got priorities you a mom i don't know what this is or you're a dad you know what i mean 
this person could be a, a dad as well but this person is going to surprise you in two months with some kind of gift or some kind of present okay um yeah and they they are somebody from your past some of you guys could be meeting somebody new and it won't last that long but you will like them okay so whoever this is this light-skinned guy or this light-skinned girl they felt like you already had something going like you was in a relationship but you don't tell people you in this relationship or there was some kind of union but this light-skinned boy do does think about how they want a serious relationship with you or this fair-skinned girl does think about how they want a partnership or marriage with you they don't want something short term and they think about that okay um damn that's crazy all right so somebody wants to experience fun times with you they plan for things for you all right this is crazy i just saw a, a lake or a mountain or something maybe somebody like going outside somebody wants to have a family with you okay so what you don't see is that there is a male coming two months from now or this is a feminine coming in from two months from now whoever this is they're thinking about having a family right now they're thinking about how they don't want short-term connections in their life anymore they want something real they don't mind having someone who has a kid already i really think this is a male thinking about this before you meet them they want to they this is a hopeless hopeless romantic kind of good dude they like to surprise their women they like to surprise their men they like to buy presents you know they like to see your face when they open up they, they like to pay attention to detail detail and two months from now you're going to be in a family situation scorpio okay and this guy is really going to surprise you with gifts this girl is too you know surprise you with little knickknacks around the house and or just in your car or whatever the fuck it is surprise you with shit at your job and they don't want something short term they want something long term and this could be somebody who doesn't mind that you have kids or that you're a mother or something because they like how you move they like that you're discreet they like that you cold okay now it's, this is crazy too some dudes like that you tell them no or there's levels or there's something here you know because they feel like well you 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 have standards for yourself you just not letting no nigga just do whatever to you or you not letting no female just do whatever to you and they really like that okay they really want to have a family with you and this person is thinking about getting married okay so this person could be thinking about these things now but the people that are in their life they don't want to take this leap of faith with them they don't want to take this step with them but they do want to take it with you okay this is definitely a future read okay so two months from now these things will be occurring for you let's see how this motherfucking money look because you know you always want to be with somebody who is determined you know it doesn't matter how much money they have today but it does matter of how teachable they are motherfuckers ain't teachable you can't do shit you know they're gonna be like i can't do nothing you know what can i do you can always do something, all right? It's a, it, and whoever this is, they fine. Look at the little cute boy. The little boy cute, okay? Shit, you can do something. When you look good, you can do anything. People will people look at that shit. All right, so somebody is thinking about how they want to take you some, somewhere. Um, um, yeah, somebody want to take you somewhere to have a good time, okay? Also, it says taking a chance, change. Yeah, so somebody's going to walk away from a relationship, okay? But somebody also is just going to openly say, hey, I, I, I'm looking for something long-term, you know? I'm looking for somebody I really want to be with. This is somebody who travels, okay? So this is somebody who wants to go on trips with you and take you places, and, and they want to plan trips together. Like, hey, you know, maybe we could do that. Maybe in the beginning, this person's money won't be all the way up. Like, they could pay for some things. Like, maybe they could pay for the food when we get there, but they can't pay for your ticket. Or they could pay for your ticket it but they can't pay for all your food when you get there work with this person okay because this person is going to make a lot of money and sooner or later y'all trips are going to be paid and this man is going to be paying for all of it um or or vice versa i don't know okay just take it as it resonates uh but somebody wants to take a chance with you they want to do fun things with you they want to go on an adventure with you they want to have a family with you okay they really do now they do want to have a baby with you okay they want y'all to have your own little baby outside of them having a baby some of these people don't have no kids okay but for for some of you yeah this man don't have a kid but you got a kid and they they want to love your kid but they also want to impregnate you with a kid somebody there could be an age difference somebody could be older or younger and somebody could have a really nice car or a sporty car okay 
all right let's see how this person well we don't really need to see how this person gonna feel for you i just feel like in two months from now you're gonna meet somebody you know this person's gonna be serious they don't want short-term commitment they're gonna want to take you out they're gonna want to chill with you they're gonna surprise you with gifts they want to travel with you too they do want to get married union is something that you are moving into i'm not saying you don't want to do a scorpio i just feel like you know marriage is a big commitment but i feel like if somebody comes to you and they moving right and they operating right and they acting right you won't be obliged you're gonna be like shit if the shoe fit where it motherfucker where my where my shoe at where i gotta put the shoe on at okay somebody could have recently watched cinderella or a cinderella based movie all right somebody wants something pure in their life okay hidden secrets all right it says too late okay so scorpios this person do feel like there was a couple of people that they had in their life that it's just too late you know they can't go back so this is somebody who feel like they don't want to fuck with no exes so you're not gonna have no issues with this motherfucker turning back the hands of time and you know you know how niggas will date you but then be like i wish i would have did right by ashley i'm still watching ashley no you're gonna be this person ashley okay y'all know that ashley song by goddamn What's that nigga name? I don't even remember, okay? But it's a, this one of my exes dedicated that song to me. I'm like, ooh, look at me in the bands today, okay? You're not even around today. So uh, somebody is just not, they're they going to feel like this is the perfect timing to meet you because you are a breath of fresh air. You are a wish, okay? Somebody in two months is going to be looking at you, Scorpio, like you are a wish in this motherfucker, okay? But just know that this person got bad credit. But that's okay, man. I heard they throwing credit away soon. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how soon soon is, but I heard that credit is about to get thrown the fuck out. But this person can't really do nothing like when it come to credit, you know. Um, and this person could be unemployed, okay? Or they could be just now getting their credit back on track, okay? Um, or some shit like that. You could be the one that has bad credit and unemployed. Unemployed don't mean you don't have no job. It just means you don't have a nine to five. Like, I'm an employer. I don't, I don't have a job. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I got a lot of entrepreneurial business, entrepreneurial business ventures that are very successful for me. Okay. All right. So let's see what hit hearts, hidden secrets. All right. So let's see what hidden secrets this person could have right now. This person looks solid. Okay. Everybody don't have good credit. Shit, half the nation don't, okay? So this person has made a lot of mistakes in their past, okay? And they have they are aware of these mistakes and they feel like it's important for them to know the fucked up shit they did because they was misunderstood. Also, this person could have been a victim where they could have been molested or raped as an adolescent, okay? And it could have made their soul feel real lost or isolated. So they had to go within, they had to go on a journey and they had to heal. And I feel like this person has. That's why they want a solid soul connection with somebody who is whole as well. In two months, this is coming, okay? We also have stuck, tied down, and captive, okay? So like I said before, this person could have went through some really bad times as a child where, you know, as an adolescent, they wanted somebody to protect them, okay? And they didn't. They was trapped in their mind because they felt powerless from being raped and molested, or this could be your energy, Scorpio, okay? And you, you don't like to be trapped. You don't like to be powerless. You don't like nobody to strip you of your energy like that, okay? And with awareness here, you know what that feels like. You know what a predator feels like, okay? And you know what values, you, you know how to love yourself now. So now you're making the conscientious effort to heal yourself, which I, I feel like you have. And this is somebody who be wearing rings everywhere, like rings on their finger, on their thumb and shit, okay? Um, and this is also somebody who likes to go scuba diving. So I wouldn't say you like to do it, but you did it one time on vacation. That shit will fire you like, oh my God, that was so cool, okay? Or this is something that you want to do. All right. Also, whoever this is, they really love the water or they just really love you. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here. It could be anywhere in their chart. But yeah, this person had went through a lot of trauma growing up and there was a lot of mistakes that they made because of being molested or, you know, raped. OK. All right. They had to go through their own spiritual understanding of what was going on. All right. Uh, they had to go back as a little kid and apologize to that inner healing, you know, and say, hey, it's okay. You know, you don't have to seek love and validation from these different niggas and these different feminine energies, okay? That was kind of deep, all right? They had to also learn how to put healthy boundaries up. So this person does know when someone is pouring into them and when someone is just using them. And that's really good, okay? That was deep, y'all, all right? So just know that even if that has happened... <coughs> where someone has taken advantage of you at some point in your life, you know, uh, just know that you volunteered to go through those tumultuous um, actions in life, even though they're really hard um, to deal with. 
so that you can help other people heal you can help other people get to the other side and i know that's like really crazy like why would you do that but y'all it's real like i remember for a segment of my life i kept going to sleep and kept going back to the same house and this house was a rundown house and every night when i would have this dream and i was having it for months i was saving women out of the house every night and there was some kind of blanket over me like if you watch me for a long time you heard this story i had some kind of cloaking device where i could get these drug girls and these men were nasty but they smelled me like they smelled the purity of me like they would really get close to the blanket um and the blanket was invisible it was a dream but it didn't feel like it was um a dream you know even sometimes i would wake up with scratches from the fucking dream from the girls thinking that i'm the dude uh that's about to you know rape them but i'm really just saving them and taking them out the house i ended up saving 19 girls it was a mansion it was an old mansion i saved 19 girls okay and i was having this dream for like i don't know five months over and over sometimes i was able to get the girls out sometimes i would have to go back another night and sneak them out and they were really drugged okay so that was crazy but maybe somebody needs to hear that, okay? Maybe you're having dreams where you're going in another dimension and you're saving souls and, you, and it feels really real. And it was. I mean, this place was nasty. The beds was disgusting. And um, people were paying top dollar to do this fucked up shit. So I love you guys. I don't know where this reading has gone, but this in the future, you're going to have somebody in two months from now really ready to invest in a relationship with you. This feminine energy has went through a lot in her life. You know what I mean? And she really wants something that's firm and that comes from you know love period point blank love you know and when you have love you cannot have no money when you have love you cannot have no food but no matter what you got love and y'all can have fun with what you got okay i always say like it's easy to jump in the bins where the fuck was you at when i had the key of sorrento you know what i'm saying so you know i like i like living or doing stuff with people with, with low money because if we can have fun with low money we can we shit everybody can hit a lick and have a good time see y'all later bye Scorpios is really private, but we'll sting if you get close. And they rule by planet Mars, they stay determined, then don't go. Don't make a Scorpio strike because they venom pack a punch. So you better come correct, cause like a shark, you can't get much. Scorpios get what they want, and what they want is what they get. They appreciate the ones they love, they ain't worth the fake shit. They don't really like people switching up, and they can be kinda controlling, like, bitch. Shut the fuck up Scorpios are leaders and they always think ahead And they also open minded so you gotta give them credit If you date in the Scorpio and they like you, they will make you happy They also like a meal so in the kitchen, no, you can't be like Scorpios are often trendy and they got the best drip And they do not disappoint, man, you just gotta tap in Tagging shit this video to a Scorpio you